Clocks are used to tell time. We need to be able to read clocks for many reasons, like getting to school or the movies on time and setting timers for cooking. Here are two different clocks. They both show the same time, 4.35. Let's find out how to read this time on an analog or face clock. It has two hands, a short hour hand and a long minute hand. You can tell the hour on a face clock by reading the number the hour hand is pointing to. If the hour hand is between two numbers, the number before the hand tells the hour. On this clock, the hour hand is between the four and the five. So, four is the hour because it is the number before the hand. Now let's see how to read the minutes on a face clock. Notice that a face clock shows the numbers one through 12. There are small tick marks in between each number. The space from one tick mark to the next represents one minute. Between each of the numbers, there are five spaces. So, the whole space from one number to the next represents five minutes. When the minute hand points to the one, we are five minutes into the hour. We can use the numbers on the clock to skip count by fives and see how many minutes have passed when the minute hand points to each number. When the time is exactly on the hour, like three o'clock, the minute hand points to the 12. That's like zero minutes passing. So to find how many minutes have passed when the hand is pointing somewhere else, start at the 12 and skip count by fives until you get to the minute hand. On this clock, start at the 12 and count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The hour was 4, the minutes are 35, so the time shown is 4.35. Let's practice. What time does this clock show? The short hour hand is between the 10 and the 11. 10 is the number before the hand, so the hour is 10. The long minute hand points to the 4. To find the minutes, start at the 12 and skip count by 5s until you reach the 4. 5, 10, 15, 20. So the minutes are 20. This clock shows 10, 20. It can be helpful to memorize some of the minutes on a face clock. For example, 3 is 15 minutes, 6 is 30 minutes, and 9 is 45 minutes. If you know this, then you don't have to start at the 12 all the time. You could start at the 3, 6, or 9, or count on. Let's try it. What time does this clock show? The red hour hand is between the 7 and the 8, so the hour is 7. The blue minute hand is at the 8. I know the 6 is 30 minutes, so I can start there and count on. 30, then 35, 40. Or, if I know the 9 is 45 minutes, I could start there and count back. 45, then 40. Either way, I see the minutes are 40. The hour was 7, so the time is 7.40. Which of these clocks shows 11.25? Remember that the hour hand is short. Notice where the hour hand is on each clock. On the top two clocks, the hour hand is between the 11 and the 12. So the hour is 11 because it is the number before the hand. One of these two clocks might show 1125. On the bottom clock, the minute hand, not the hour hand, is between the 11 and the 12. The hour hand points to the five. So this clock definitely does not show 1125. Let's check the minutes on the two clocks that are left. Remember that the minute hand is the long one. On the first clock, the minute hand points to the five. Skip counting from 5 starting at the 12, we see that the minutes are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this clock shows 1125. It's correct. On the other clock, the minute hand points to the 7. We know the 6 is 30 minutes, so we can count on from there. 30, 35. So this clock shows 1135, not 1125. In this video, you have learned to read time to the nearest five minutes on an analog or face clock.